In today's video, we're gonna learn how to edit like Joey edits. Yep, like me. Let's get started. And today's video is sponsored by my homies on Patreon. And thanks so much guys for supporting this dream. If you wanna be part of my Patreon, you can check on the link down below. So we're gonna drag our video in the timeline. And I'm gonna provide you guys with this video. You can check down in the description box below and practice your hands on it. And I intentionally left it this way. Mostly when you get videos from your clients, depending on the camera that they use, it's gonna look like this. So with this, you just click on the video go to the right side of the software on rotate you can put in 90 or 270 degrees depending on how your client was holding the camera so in my case it was 90 degrees and it's going to turn this way then on scale you can put in the figures 180 percent or also you can just use the on-screen controls and increase it till it fill the screen so now we have it nicely on the screen and remember we are editing in 9 by 16 you can change it on this very side as the ratio and select 9 by 16 since it's an ig format or instagram format the next thing make sure you click anywhere in the timeline and click on modify then we're going to turn on free layer and click on save so then wherever we put any image or vector in the timeline it's going to stay at that very layer without really necessarily changing it in the basic side so the first we're going to work with the background go to the media side drag and drop in the timeline and i'm going to provide you guys with this background down below you can download and practice your hands on it so with this background we want it to fade in whilst i'm doing the talking and always make sure it goes with whatever the talent was saying in the video so just click on that go to the right side click on animation we're going to use fade in click on that and increase it to somewhere seven seconds so then as you can see it's going to fade in nicely then we're going to bring in a great lines i'll provide you guys with that one too you can download it just drag and drop in the timeline and stretch it and make it the same length as the paper texture then with the grid click on that and let's increase the size of it to fold the whole screen so something like this looks pretty cool then scroll down on opacity let's take it down a bit so i can go for somewhere five to seven percent now we need to fit in the grid lines too so with that selected go to the right side and click on animation and select fade in then we're going to increase it to somewhere seven seconds too the next thing the paper text i want to have some feel to it with this i was using an effect go to the effect scroll down and i was using the black noise if you don't find it under favorite you can find it somewhere under the texture then you can just click on the star and it's going to appear on your favorite side so with this i'm just going to drag and drop it on the paper texture and you can't really see it but when you scroll through you can see it having this dot black on the paper texture now let's just click on this effect to bring that black noise effect then we can just reduce it a bit so I can go for somewhere too. I don't really want it to show that much. The next thing, the paper texture look too dark. So I just want to brighten it a bit. So with that selected, go to the right side and click on adjustment. Then scroll down and then on brightness, we're just going to increase it a bit. So we can really see it at the background. Now we're going to bring in our first text. With that, go to the left side, click on text. Click on default text, drag and drop in the timeline. And let's just stretch this to this very side. Now with that, go to the right side, delete default text and type in the text you wanna use. With the font, I'm gonna go for Monsterad. That was the one I was using. I'll leave the size just like it is. Scroll down and add some glow to it. With the intensity, I'm gonna take it down a bit. And then with the range, I can go down a bit too. And then I'm just gonna drag it to this side on the screen now we're going to add some animation to that with that selected go to animation on the right side scroll down and select mini zoom now let's just increase it to somewhere seven seconds and then i'm going to drag it to somewhere here so the paper will come in first and then the text will start coming in too so with that go to the left side click on text drag default text in the timeline let's make it the same length 
as the rest of them. And with that selected, go to the right side, delete default text and type in dash as many as you can. And then let's just rotate this to this very side and drag it to the top of the morning. Now I can add more dashes to it and then just drag it up to this very side. The next thing we need to make the dashes to come together so it will form a good line. With that on character, just reduce the size of it to somewhere two or three. I think two minus two will look okay. Now I can add more dashes to it. And if the lines look very thin, you can increase that by scrolling down on scale. Make sure you turn off uniform scale and then we're gonna use the height this time around. Just increase that. And we are using the height because we've rotated these lines. So it's gonna be on the height. When you increase it, you can increase the size of the line. Now with the dashes, scroll down, we can add some glow to it. Then with the range, you can just go down. Intensity, you can also go down or you can go up depending on the look that you're going for. Now for us to be able to animate these lines, Let's make a compound clip of it. So create a compound clip, then go to the right side, make sure you've selected a compound clip. Click on video, then click on mask. We're gonna use split for this, just click on that. If you wanna see a video on how to use the mask tools, you can check video card up here. I already did a video last week on that. So with that, I'm just gonna use the on-screen controls and rotate it to minus 180. And then I'm just gonna drag it down to this very side. With the feather, let's increase it to somewhere four so we can get that soft edges. It makes it look cool. Now I can just drag it to really take off the lines. So take your playhead to the starting of it. Make sure you've selected that compound clip. Then go to the right side and make a keyframe on position. Then go to where you want the animation to end. So I want it to end somewhere here. Then I'm gonna make a keyframe on position once again. And then I will use the on-screen controls and increase it to the top. And make sure you go to something like this so we can still soften the edges. When you go this way, it's gonna ruin the edges. We wanna soften it. So we just leave it something like that. And now when I play and show you guys, and now with the line animation, it looks kind of constant speed. So let's work on the graphs a little bit. Right click that and show keyframe animation. Or you can use the shortcut keys Alt or Option K. Then we're going to do it on position X. Just click on this very drop down menu to bring the graphs out. Click on this side and select Auto Curve. Click on this side too and select Auto Curve. Now let's play and see how it looks like. Now it looks pretty cool. Maybe we can just increase the speed of it at the end a little bit. So just play around it till it really looks cool to your eyes. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna leave it just like that. Then now click on that option or Alt K to hide keyframe animation. Now with the line animation, let's just drag it a little bit to this side. So the text is gonna come in before the animation start coming in. And also we can just add some fade in animation. Just click on the compound clip. Go to animation and select fade in. Now we can just increase duration a bit more and play and see how it looks like. Now we need to bring in our second text and this what we do, we just make a duplicate of this since it's gonna have the same effect and animation. Click on that, press option or alt and drag upwards and that's gonna make a duplicate of that. Then with that selected, go to on screen and let's just drag it up to this very side. Let's go to where the line touches the top. So somewhere here, then we can just bring that text to that very side. And now I'm just gonna change the text on the right side, delete this and write something you wanna write on that very side. So now when you play, it comes in and it goes there. We need to work on that. So we're just gonna drag it to when it starts to touch there and play and see how it looks like. Now let's just make it the same length as the rest of them. So with that, go to the left side, click on text, select default text, drag and drop in the timeline. Now let's just make it the same length as all of them. With the default text selected, go to the right side, delete default text, then just type in dot then with the font size, we're just gonna increase it to our preferred choice. Then I'm just gonna drag it to this very side. 
but for now let's just go to somewhere here so we can see when the line ends and with this i'm just going to go for three stages but you can go for as many as you want to go depending on what the video is about then we're going to make a duplicate of that dot press option drag upwards and make sure you drag it to this next space then i'm going to make a duplicate once again option or alt and drag upwards and this time around i'm going to make it go to somewhere here so for the sake of this tutorial, I'm not going to go with all this, but when you're doing it, just make sure it has almost the same intervals to make it look cool and nice. So now with the dashes, we want it to fit in when the lines start coming in. So with that, I'm just going to select the first one. We could have done that earlier on. Then go to animation, scroll up and choose fade in. Then I can go for somewhere six seconds. Then I'm just going to do the same thing for these two. So now we have something like this. It comes in and then the dot already shows on the screen. So you can just be playing around it to make it your own style. Now there's one trick of getting this white dot to change to green color. So we're going to start with this first one. This is our first dot on this very side. Scroll through and make sure when the line is touching the white dot, you take your playhead to that very side. Then click on that very dot press option or alt and drag upwards so we can make a duplicate of that then we're just going to drag it to that very side then with that one selected go to the right side on color we're going to change it to green then i'm just going to close it now we're just going to play around and see if it touches and changes yeah it goes perfectly now we can just trim this very down one to this very side we don't really need it so something to this side then when it touches it's going to change to this very green color so now i'm going to do the same thing for this second dot this is the second dot so i'm just going to scroll through when it's about to touch i'll take my playhead to that very side then click on that very dot press option or alt and drag upwards so we're just going to bring it to this very side then i'm just going to drag it to that very side so the animation at the starting point will go exactly on that side then with that one selected go to the right side on color we change it to green once again and we just play it and see if it matches with it now we're going to do it for the last one so now we have something like this now let's make a compound clip of all the dots so i'm just going to select all of them right click and create a compound clip so these ones are going to be our dots now when you look at my edit when it touches and the best day starts coming in it has this confetti or some celebration thing at the top i'll show you guys with that one just go to the media and i'm going to use this very one i'm going to select that part with this one i got it from motion array but when you go to youtube and you type in confetti green screen you can get some to use and for those who have motion array or those who are going to use the free version i'll leave a name of this very one down below so you can download it and use it right away so i'm just going to select this part when it comes in fully press i for the in point and then o for the out point and now i'm just going to drag it in the timeline now with that one selected we're just going to move it to the top of the screen let me go to where this test come in click on that it comes in on this very side so i'm just going to take it to that very side too and with this confetti i want it to be behind this very text so with this i'm just going to drag it to that very layer and remember we've turned on the free layer so when we move it it's going to go straight to that very layer i'm just going to move the test on top of it and now i'm going to place it right behind it and I don't really like the color, so I change the color. And with that, you just go to the right side, click on adjustment, scroll down, and then on saturation, we're just gonna reduce it. So it will give us that black and white. Now with that one selected, go to the right side, click on animation, and we're gonna add some fade in to make it look smooth. Just click on that, and then you can increase the duration of it if you want to. So now we're going to bring in our vectors and with the vectors once again i got it from motion array i'm going to use this coffee cup as the first one just going to drag it and drop in the timeline and this was in the video form so i'm just going to select an image of it just right click on that edit and freeze it 
then I'm just gonna delete this side. I just want the freeze version. Let me just stretch it and make it long. Now with that one selected, I'm just gonna move it to this very side on the screen, reduce the size of it. And I don't like the color, so I'm just gonna go to the right side, click on adjustment, on saturation, I'm just gonna turn it down. So to give me this black and white. And now we need to animate it to come in on the screen. And we're gonna use this trick. Click on that, go to the right side and click on animation. And I'm gonna use slide up for this very animation. And when you look carefully, it comes, let me show you, it comes right from the bottom of the screen and we want it to come in from only this side. So we're gonna play this trick with it. Let's just increase the duration of it to somewhere one second. And then I'm just gonna drag it to this very side for now. And now I'll make a compound clip of it, create a compound clip. So then I can just drag it to this side and then you can see it's gonna come in from that very side on the screen. Now we're gonna add some effects to it to make it float in the air. Go to the right left side, click on effects and we're gonna use the famous play pendulum. Just drag and drop on that very compound clip. We're gonna do some changes to the parameters. So go to twist. I don't really like it, so I just turn it down. But if you want it, you can leave it. With the strength, I'm gonna go very low to somewhere five. And with the speed, I'm gonna leave this one at 15. So now we just have to match it with when it touches this green dot. So we just go to where it touches it and take it to that very side and play and see if it matches with it. Now we're gonna bring in one more vector and I'm gonna do the same method and I'll be fast for the sake of this tutorial. So later on, we're just gonna trim the ending part of all of them. From here, you can add some sound effect and also add some out animation to all of them so it will transition smoothly to whatever you're saying in the video. Now I'm gonna play all and show you guys what we have. Now, if you want to know how to edit like pro YouTubers, you can check on this playlist. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.